Hey, what's up? Pack, 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 pack. Very good to Stewie makes an unintelligent clone. clone. We've got to a thousand subs, guys. Thanks for the subs. Keep subbing, keep sharing. How's a garage sale going, Quagmire? Pretty good, just clearance. Wait. Wait. How's a garage? Whose draw would you pick? Whose what? Draw. Pick one draw. Quagmire. Nah, that's too much. Quagmire. That's too much. Garage sale going, Quagmire. Pretty good, just clearing some of my stuff out of the basement. It's amazing what you find when you clean your basement. Peter, you almost done down there? <laughs> Look what I found. That's wonderful, Peter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go do some skywriting. Why does it sound like that? <laughs> Quagmire selling. Wow, the best the kids of the world's be loudest Quagmire's movies, videos, Jason. please. And it even has the one with the Flintstones. Amazingly, this drunk driver turns left into oncoming traffic. He narrowly misses hitting a pedestrian who jumps out of the way just in time. Now the driver can add attempted battery to the charges. The driver turns right into the parking lot of a drive-in movie theater. At this point, the dinosaur in the back seat pokes his head up through the roof, and the driver the places two small children on top of it. Now he's not only endangering his own life, but their lives as well. What the hell is going on? The driver totals the car and makes a run for it, but the pursuing officers are prepared. Running from the cops, yabba dabba don't. <laughs> Hey, Quagmire, I think I might want to buy this ham radio off you. Sure, Peter, that'll be $50. 50 bucks? All right, fine, I'll buy it. Man, this is a bigger ripoff than Shrunky Dinks. Then why are you buying? They already been shrunk. Happy birthmas. Okay, wait. <laughs> By the way. Keep it playing. Damn. They already been shrunk. Happy birthmas. One's research on this surname. Was it a real surname? It was. Yeah, it's a real person. Jesus. I think it was an Asian person, too. Peter, you've been fiddling with that ham radio for seven weeks. Take a shower. Yeah, I can barely get any reception on this stupid thing. So far, the only station that comes in is some British guys reading news from places I'm not sure exist. Today, in Kazakhstan, a peaceful demonstration turned to bloodshed as members of the Tuzili tribe flooded Kenpao Square in remembrance of the third anniversary of the Holmesburg Massacre. But finally, some good news out of neighbouring Kanduzi, as locals there have reached an uneasy alliance with the bordering Trolika Bubsy Wubsy Dahl. And now what the, the sports, here's Frampel Tromwibbler. From the world of sport, the Coynton Spinky Wompers flumped the flowing boying Welfenklompers 70 flop to 40 flave. At the tone, the time will be 26 Railroad. I'm not sure about any of that. You know, Dad, I saw that movie White Noise, and they said you can use empty radio static to talk to dead people. You idiot, ghosts don't exist. Wait a second, they might. What do you mean? Hello, ghosts. Come in, ghosts. Hello. Hello? Who's this? Like this? This is Ronald probably. Reagan. Ronald Reagan? What the, the guy that used to bang that 70-pound like witch? Lockdown. Ronald Reagan, former president of the United States. Oh, my God! Why are you calling people? Hey, Quagmire, guess who I'm talking to right now? Yep. How would he know? He oh, from Quagmire. Ryan, will you take me down to Baby Gap? I want to dress like a small douche. No, maybe tomorrow <laughs> or Tuesday. But you said you'd do it today. Yeah, I'm kind of tired. Well, for God's sake, cancel my Tuesday appointments. Sure thing, Stewie. You want me to move it to another day? No, no, just cancel it. Okay, we'll do. Who the hell was that? Hmm? There was another Stewie right there. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I've been so damn busy lately. My schedule's been so packed. I felt like I needed some kind of an errand boy to do all my nitpicky pain in the ass stuff. So I cloned myself. You... You cloned <laughs> yourself? Are you deaf? What? So he's an exact copy of you? Well, not exact. I have to remain superior, so I bred out some of the intelligence, made him sort of a simpleton, you know. I call him Bitch Stewie. <laughs> bitch Stewie. Would you like to meet him? Just... Would you like to meet Bitch Stewie? Uh, yeah, I guess. Bitch Stewie, come here and meet my friend Brian. What the hey there, that Stewie. Oh, sit, what's sit, that? Sit, you got a friend? Else, oh, I'm always happy to meet one of your friends. Dear God. How do you do? Pleased to meet you. I'm Bitch Stewie. He's got quite a grip. Hey, Bitch Stewie. 
Why are there no midget accountants? Because they always come up short. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another good one, Stewie. I don't know where you come up with them. Isn't he wonderful? And all I have to feed him is a crude peanut paste. Watch this. Uh, That's why he's fucked up. It's not much, but it's healthier than what people ate in the 50s. Steak and donut sandwich, please. You want cigarettes on that sandwich? Oh, I look like a mayor. It's healthier than what? What people ate in the 50s. That's not true. Stewie's a baby. Okay. But yes, I want cigarettes. Okay, next up on the stage, let's have a big karaoke welcome for Peter and Ron. Okay, this is one of our favorites. What the hell? Oh, sorry, I didn't realize somebody was in here. What the hell? Oh, hello, Brian. The oh, there's your friend Brian. Hey, Brian. I sure did enjoy talking well, to you the other day. Accent. I'm just making sure Stewie is nice and clean for yeah, his trip cold. to the playground this afternoon. We had a little bit of a problem earlier because bitch Stewie was stooling in the tub, wasn't he? I did some poos, I did some poos, I didn't mean to. But we've rectified that now and everything's fine. This is He's really weird. I mean, it's accent. one thing to have him help you out with a busy schedule. It's, it's another thing to let him wash your kid. back. Well, he does more than that, Brian. Bitch Stewie, give me a bubble beard. Look at me. I'm George Bernard Shaw. <laughs> well, that's awful funny, Stewie. I don't know who George Bernard Shaw is, but you look this like old. an old Stewie, Stewie. Enjoy your weird bath. <laughs> I told him I did the poos, even though you did the poos, Stewie. Mm. Did I do good, Stewie? That was very correct of you, bitch, Stewie. You're a good helper. And what a lot of people don't know is that I was Jane Wyman's first... You might say I broke her Jane Wyman. <laughs> Reagan is a delight. He sure is. And you know what else? The ghost of Reagan is going to be the new fourth guy in our group. I'm all for that. What other stories you got, Reagan? Well, I remember the time I invited Ed Sullivan to the White House. He sounded a little something like this. Hey, Ron, tonight we got a really big show. Ah, Reagan does impressions. That's right. And you know who else does impressions? Rich Little. In fact, you ought to go see his show at the Mohegan Sun Casino next Saturday at 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. Wait a what second. Yeah, no <laughs> what? Peter, that's not Ronald Reagan. That's Rich Little. You're Rich Little. He must be on his own ham radio. <laughs> uh, well, uh, you know, Ed, the kids say you gotta go viral to promote yourself these days. So this is not Reagan? No, it's Rich Little. He's an impressionist. He's been screwing with your head. Well, this thing is worthless. Like my Palestinian alarm clock. Peter, what's up? Hey, Quagmire. Uh, listen, I'm here to get my money back for that ham radio. That whoa, chin. whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there, partner. All sales are final. Yeah, but you were Agamemnon with me during the sale. What? I just saw that word somewhere. I wanted to use it. Look, Peter, why don't you just go home before you get hurt? Well, I'm clearly not the only one who was dissatisfied with his purchase. Whoever bought that baby from you obviously didn't want it. What? A baby? I didn't sell a baby. Look, there's a note. Glenn. This is your child. Next time, wear a condom, jerk. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, now, now, hang on, Quagmire. There, there's no guarantee it's your baby. Oh, I say that. Well, the DNA test results are back. This little girl is definitely your baby, Quagmire. Well, what am I supposed to do? I, Why I don't want a baby. Results? Look, somebody's got to take this kid off my hands. I, I can't be a father. Well, Glenn, you don't have a choice. This baby is your responsibility. Now, I brought you a basket of things to get you started. There's baby clothes, some toys, and some books. Now, if you have any questions, we're right across the street. Hey. What's going on? That's the stupidest I'm not movie I've really ever sure seen. what I'm supposed to do with you. There's some frozen steaks in the freezer. <laughs> Bathroom's down the hall to the right. Uh, if you ever come home and there's a tie on the door, it means I'm frogging someone, so give me at least a I've never heard that before. couple hours. You smoke? What the fuck? Dewey, what are you doing here? I thought you were going to Bobby Stalling's so birthday party. Ugh, I hate that kid. And I hate children's Stewie, birthday Stewie, parties. Stewie, so I sent Bitch Stewie in my place. No, Stewie's a, he's the one. Ah, 
What a great little party, Janet. You know, I've never seen Stewie come out of his shell so much. Oh, no, it's not on his tail. It's on his face. I've ruined it. Oh, oh no. Well, that's clue. okay, though. Somebody else will come along and get it right. Thanks for coming to my birthday party, Stewie. Oh, I wouldn't have missed it for How anything. I've never not been to a this. party before. Want to watch me blow out the candles? I would love to see that. And gosh, Bobby, I'd love to play with some of your birthday toys, but only after you've played with them and only if you say it's okay. You know, Stewie, I gotta say that clone of yours has come in pretty handy. I, uh, don't suppose you'd consider making one of those for me, would you? Oh, oh, oh what maybe. Hell, what would you be willing to do for me? What do you want? Take your index finger and your... Th oh, I don't know what happened there. Hey guys, the kids, that's that. Uh, that, 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 um, that, that, that it wasn't funny. It was too long. It was too long. Yeah. I was falling asleep. Yeah. It was just too long. I just, I'm just disappointed generally. But yeah, interesting. I, I never thought Stewie would clone himself because he's full of himself. Yeah. I, maybe it makes sense in that sense. But in any case, guys, please suggest some more clips and like this video, subscribe, make share. Make sure that they fall under this. Everything that's there just falls under 10 minutes. Yeah, something that makes sense to the tea and punchy. Yeah. But we'll see you guys later.